Alicia is now engaged. And we've met Dave. Dave fully looks like a 45-year-old man, what? You look like you have a mortgage and five kids already. We've met Gordon at school. He looks young and he has his chest up. Okay, great. Hello, my little peaches, and welcome back to another episode of my Nelsa Berry Challenge with little Liv, who you guys like as her. She gets older, her appearance is starting to change a little bit. We're starting to get to know the real Liv a little bit more, and I kind of like that she is kind of low-key quite chaotic. She doesn't really do what her parents say. She kind of got taken out of school and then failed to get into two prestigious schools. So now is in a different school altogether. However, she doesn't actually start today because I registered her after midnight. So she's going to start the school on Tuesday. But in today's episode, I am going to be like furiously meeting all of our school classmates because we're going to have to marry one of them very soon. So we're going to go ahead and try and date or like meet as many people as we possibly can, see who she has a good connection with. But today I will just get her to like do her her schoolwork ahead of heading into school and also i might get her to like practice you know check herself out freshen up maybe she can like practice working on her charisma in front of the mirror and i was thinking about live earlier and i think it's interesting because if you think of the last couple of generations like briar naturally incredibly talented uh programming so always knew what she wanted to do also like got into really good schools when she was younger she's always been super brainy and then robin her mom wasn't necessarily as academic but always knew she wanted to be a police officer was so focused on that from an early age and had this golden life her father was coral who was super gifted at writing, won a prestigious award for his writing whilst he was still a teenager. Had such a clear focus in what they wanted to do in life as well. And then his mother, Clem, although it was criminal vibes, she knew she loved being a pirate at a young age and knew exactly that she wanted to go into a criminal career when she got older. Bit of a, you know, non-conformist approach, but she knew what she wanted to do at least. So for Liv, she's our first sim in a while that instead just doesn't really have this goal and focus in life. Look, look at everybody in this challenge we've had famous scientists we've had presidents we've had rocket scientists who went to space like she's come from this line of people that are like incredibly talented and world renowned in their fields and she doesn't oh okay okay alicia she just doesn't really have this drive in life and i think it's like the pressure for her is a little bit intense so when i finished the last episode as well and i went to save it as soon as i like before I hit save, the animation started for the little tofu. So he did go ahead and age up and we didn't actually get to see it, but I wanted to at least show you how tofu looks now that he's aged. She, she has aged up and she is absolutely adorable. So I'm really, really happy with that. I love her little curly tail. I love her butt. Look at her little fluffy butt. She's like so freaking cute. I'm happy with how she looks and we'll be bringing Tofu with us whenever we do leave. The other thing I was thinking for this gen is that Liv marries a high school sweetheart. I kind of feel like Liv is going to do the getting married and having babies part of her life way sooner than a lot of our other heirs have done it. So I'm kind of bearing that in mind as well. So she's kind of feeling like her fun is low. I'm going to get her to just like, you know, She's going to a new school. I already feel like, you know, she's had to change school. She doesn't love that. So she wants to make sure that she's going into this with a good, like, you know, she's ready to go there. She thinks she's looking very attractive and so thinks the majority of the world will think the same. And I'm just going to get her to go in and be a very confident girl at school. Even if her grades aren't good, like, she's going to attract a lot of friends and a lot of romantic interest just because she's that girl, you know? Also, I may as well use today to work on some of her skills that I need to get up, which include photography and cooking. And you need to pair with praise. So why don't we take some pictures of, oh my gosh, immediately take a picture of little Tofu sleeping on the sofa. That's so cute. Doing little stretchies. And I like the idea that when she gets older, oh Tofu, when she gets older, you know, she's got these like cute little kids in the house. Maybe she has like a little photography studio somewhere in the house so she can take pictures of them all, you know? Okay, that gave me a little photography boost. But honestly, oh my gosh, Alicia. <laughs> Alicia, please stop being naked all the time or at least be naked, write poetry or write a love email to your new love. I'm also going to buy Jaden the mentor trait because then he should be able to mentor Liv in cooking. And oh my gosh, Alicia, you are, you have a lot to handle. So if I set her off cooking, can he just like stand over there and like start helping? Oh, <gasps> strawberry jam crumpets. Oh my gosh, guys, I want crumpets and all. Oh, but I think she's going through a phase. She is going through a phase, isn't she? Rebellious. As soon as he went to help her with the cooking, she immediately just stopped. 
She's like, Dad, I'm doing this on my own. If you want to help me, I'm not a child anymore. You don't need to fake making a blueberry pie. I'm doing this on my own, okay? And I do think as a parent, he can ask her about the phase that she's in. She is feeling rebellious, but I kind of like that. Because I do get the feeling that like, she is this perfectionist. If you're a perfectionist, but you're faced with a situation where you're not the best, like her at school, what you actually do is rather than do something poorly and not do it perfectly, you just don't do it at all. So I feel like she's that kind of perfectionist, you know? She'd rather avoid something entirely than not be able to do it perfectly. Still, I'm going to share my cooking secrets. And she says, it's my time to stand up to authority and be rebellious. A few good hooks or helping me with my homework could get me to soften my attitude. You don't offer them with how to improve it. You just say you're a rebel and, and leave it at that. Ooh, and that helps her with her gourmet cooking. I actually don't think I need to level up, but... Why not, you know? I really like this idea. You know the curls that I downloaded the other day? I'm going to try and recolor them to blue. I love the idea that like after she has her like affair and she feels horrible and she like dedicates herself to the family. I want to try this like 50s housewife look on her. I've never done that with a sim before and I think it could be quite interesting. And I think her crumpets look pretty good. They're not excellent quality, but they look pretty tasty to me. Raspberry jam. If I'm doing a crumpet, it's got to be raspberry jam. And Alicia has just been naked all day. All day. So that's cool. I'm going to go ahead and get photography level three because that's what level I'm at now. Oh, no, there's only two. Okay, the rest of it, I guess we're doing on our own. And if you're going to be naked around the house, then I'm going to take pictures of it. This is on you, okay? This is why you need to start putting clothes on, Alicia. I feel like the paparazzi. Okay, so I was going to make her do a homework for the next day, but instead I like the idea that she's like learning K-pop before she goes to school the next day. Learning some K-pop dances to help her make some friends. Alicia, I'm sending you to bed because I'm actually just so grossed out by the fact that you won't put it clothes on. Jaden is fully old man. He's in bed before nine. Before nine o'clock. <gasps> and Trent has passed away. Do you remember her old ex? You guys are saying it's a good job Alicia wasn't at home when Trent was over because she would have been all over him. She totally would. She, she loves an older guy. But we're dating somebody that has gray hair, so we're halfway there. Oh my gosh, Alicia, please put some clothes on, babe. Why? It says she has clothes on, but clearly she does not have clothes on. Okay, there, clothes. Finally. He's a key holder, by the way, but he's not popped over yet. But yeah, he's got gray hair, so she's kind of getting her old man fixed, but without actually, you know, the whole decay in DNA and lack of collagen. We have our first date of school today. I want to send her into school in a flirty mood, so I am going to get her to just, you know, check herself out before she goes in. Freshen up a little bit. If I can, I want to get her to cook some flirty heart cookies as well. She's also got dry skin, dry ass snake skin. So I will get her to get some lotion as well. Okay, brilliant. She's feeling flirty. So can we cook the flirty heart cookies yet? Is she high enough level? Look how long my cooking menu takes to load. Oh, I can't do it yet. What about... What's flirty food? The French, they're known for being flirty. Why don't we do some French toast? She is having a bit, she woke up a bit gloomy, a bit sad, probably a little bit worried about going to a new school, but we've overcome it with the help of flirtiness and her love for cooking. And I, you're getting better at this. That was a nice little whole fire thing without setting the whole house on fire. French toast is not the easiest thing to cook as well. I wouldn't know where to start with French toast. I also wanted to get her into the habit of taking her dog out before she goes to school. Uh, her dog who's currently rolling around in the puddle that you left in the bathroom. So let's make sure that's a thing. Oh, and she can now make black and bass and omelette. School starts in an hour, so you're going to have to get your skates on. Wait, did you? Oh, I thought she just cooked French toast for herself and no one else. Yeah, have a few mouthfuls of that and then doggy out, please. And okay, she is now heading into high school. She looks so grown up, right? She looks like literally so grown up. Okay, go in, have a good day. And also, since you're in a flirty mood, I am going to get her to... Oh, do I not have the option to flirt in class? Oh, man, I thought I'd be able to get her to flirt in class. Oh, I guess it's because I'm using a different mod now. I'm not using the Kawaii Stacy one. But that's fine. Why don't we just like make some friends? And we're in a flirty mood, so they'll probably be flirty friends. And why do we have no power to the house? Why is it so dark? <gasps> Pay your bills. Oh my gosh. And we're out of school. And I don't think she made any new friends. What? How did you not make any new friends today at all? Even she's confused. We practiced our flirting. We learned dance moves. We tried all day to make friends. I'm hoping I didn't get the bug that I get with Briar where she can never make friends at work either. But yeah, no new friends, no new romance options yet. And she is feeling 
very, very gloomy about that. Okay, I hate to add to your gloominess, but you never managed to take Tofu out, so. Please have a comforting hug with Tofu, and then, actually, it's a thunderstorm. I'll let you off. Ooh, and Alicia has been asked on a date. We're gonna go on a quick date, and okay, we just come to a little bar. I guess we get some drinks. And, you know, these guys have been dating for a while. He's had a key to the house for a while as well. So maybe he wants to kind of take things to the next level. We've got a little glass of red to discuss things over. So I might ask him, like, do you want to take things to the next level? Should they do a little uh, a little engagement? It would mean Alicia moving out. But honestly, it would also mean 100% less naked people walking around the house. So I'm going to give him some poems I wrote for him. And I kind of want him to be the one that asks... Just because, you know, we've sent him so much love poetry at this point, which he clearly loves. I feel like it's about time he did a little bit of the romance. So I'm going to do MC Control. <gasps> Amy's only love. Amazing. Romance. And does he, he does have the option to propose. Okay. Look how lovely she looks in this red dress, by the way. I love this red dress on her. <gasps> Are we doing this? Are we doing a little public proposal moment without glasses of red? I feel like we are. I feel like we are. <gasps> And maybe this is why Liv gets it into her head that she like, I want this. I want to like move out and get proposed to and find love as well. And maybe that's why she rushes into a high school romance. Although as of yet, I have nobody to romance, which is super frustrating. But Alicia most definitely does. So Alicia is now engaged. Well done, Alicia. And I guess we'll have another wedding soon. Although it will actually be after the wedding patch. So that's kind of nice. But I don't want to have a wedding until Liv has a date for a wedding. So I'm glad she is finally, I said finally engaged. She was in no rush. She just happened to meet the right person. And I think after we get them married, I will be moving her out. So well done, Alicia. So I'm going to ha have her come home and like gush about her engagement to everyone. And basically make Liv a bit jealous. Because not only has she not got any love, but also she has no hand. So it's a double whammy, really. And of course, we're doing it naked because why would we not be doing it naked? <laughs> like at this point, they just they just accept it. They're just like, fine, whatever. OK, fine. Oh, we are giving her a hug, though, because we do love our sister, but we are now jealous. And oh, my gosh, you've got to take the dog out. You've got to take the dog out. Oh, and she's woken up at 4 a.m. to enter a phase. I wonder what phase this will be. Well, we're going through a mean streak. Okay, straight after finding out about Alicia's engagement. Interesting, interesting. And oh my gosh, you're supposed to be at school. Go, 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 go. Quick, school, school, school. Okay, if she can't meet anyone at school today, I'm going to assume it's bugged and just go with her existing teen friends. So let's try it once more. It's like when I change it over to be like actively participate she'll start like gaining skills straight away or like group work yeah yeah but look these ones work but for whatever reason making friends doesn't oh <gasps> and she started meeting people okay we've met brinley we've started meeting people and we've met dave dave looks like a 45 year old man dave fully looks like a 45 year old man what how is this how is this a teenager what kind of cruel trick is the game playing on us if dave is a teenager i have to see this sim i'm inviting the sim over this is also oh brin lee who we've invited home from school to Brinley, who, oh, is obviously straight away shocked by Alicia. Yes, yeah, she does that. She's naked quite a lot, I'm afraid. And these are friends from our new school. I'm not ruling out still dating friends from, although they still have the preteen trait. I need to remove that from them. But I'm not ruling out not ever dating friends from our old high school because it's still a high school romance. And this is Dave. The game really did you dirty, Dave. You look so grown. You look like you have a mortgage and five kids already. You look like you have an ex-wife and okay our new school friends are very sad i don't know if people love this school all everyone i've met is really down and sad not really like the k-pop dancing hanging out sneaking out of the house rebellious mean streak sims i was expecting in fact it kind of looks like you've brought your parents to an open day like it looks like we're going in for like a teacher conference that's what i'm kind of feeling from these two they give me old energy i don't know i'm just not 
I'm not sure if either of them are people we will run away and marry, you know? Jaden's come to sit down because he's like, look at your lovely school friends. They look so sensible. I bet you go around the debate team. Yes, that's why I sent you to this school. And she's just like, really, dad? I'm not seeing it personally. I can still use chat rooms to speak to my old high school friends. And I'm also assuming everyone that's like little is a teen and just needs the preteen trait removing. So it's actually quite good that I have the preteen trait because I can tell the teens from afar, which is helpful. So I'm gonna just keep in touch with Irvin. If you remember, I CC'd him up. He's one of the first things we invited home from primary school as well, just so we can kind of stay in touch, just in case we don't meet anyone at our new school, you know? And okay, if I do it through the Simda chat room, it means that they build up a little bit of romance. However, I have learned that Irvin is not flirty but he does flirt online a cozy online chat a few charming words here and there okay i'm gonna give myself another final chance to try and meet somebody at school who actually catches my eye and not my father's eye for being a sensible head and she has oh no she's caught the sads from her classmates she's also gone to school feeling pretty gloomy as well and Liv was discovered playing games on her phone is she on Tim simda again they're called alicia though so i'm just gonna be like a warning will do okay we've met gordon at school he looks young and he has his chest out okay great there's still always a drink by the way in this house always a drink on the table both Jaden and briar are completely addicted to making alcoholic drinks all the time oh look literally as soon as i said that she walks in and starts making one and we're back out from school her school performance is kind of dropping because i'm not getting her to do her homework but i want to meet the chest himself gordon so let's invite him around i'm also just going to check him out in class real quick he's an older teen than her but i kind of feel like she's kind of going for that and he lives in the bedlington boathouse which is where connor used to live with Salva, I think. Okay, so his little sister is a kleptomaniac. Cool, cool, cool. He's got a brother. Wait, are you a twin? No, you guys are brothers. I don't think you're twins. Honestly, the brother's kind of cute too. So this is the brother. Then this is Gordon, who she's met at school, who I'll be CCing up. He has neighborhood confidant. What the hell is neighborhood confidant? Why have I never seen this trait before in my life? Is this a new trait? This neighborhood wants to provide all manners of advice and be a positive influence on their neighbors. No idea what that is. He is a slob, but he's good. Slob could be good if we do go down this housewife route, so that could be kind of fun. I'm gonna CC him up a little bit because it's kind of charged right now. It's actually not that bad. It's his side profile, but I'm gonna give him some new brows. Okay, so this is Gordon. But what I was thinking is while I was here, I may as well just like CC the brother up a little bit too. Why is there no brown on wings? There's like light blonde or black. There's no brown. Okay, that's him. And they're meant to look like they're in school. So I've given him like a school outfit yeah. kind of thing. And then his brother, Eric, is an animal enthusiast. Oh no, he's evil. Maybe I won't CC you up. I've had enough of evil sims at this point. Genuinely, there's just too many of them. But we now at least have Gordon, who I think is a pretty cute sim. And I've invited him around here, but I've kind of realized like, I spent my whole life here. I reckon we go sneaking off somewhere and I'm gonna invite over some of the other teens as well. And we'd be like, oh dad, we've got a school project we've got to work on, I'm so sorry. But instead we'll go sneaking off to like the ultimate. I'm gonna unpreteen these two and him. Wait, why am I so small? Is he really tall or am I really small? What is happening right now? What is even happening right now? Why am I actually Diddy? We were gonna sneak off to the bluffs because that's like, you know, the ultimate place where teenagers go hung. Okay, so we're at the bluffs. I'm gonna hit a hot pause for a sec. Why did I look so schmoll? Like, are you still a pre- Wow, it is snowy here. Oh my gosh. Okay, I'm gonna remove preteen from these guys. Okay. Oh, you're not a preteen. You're a little schmoll bean like me as well. And okay, Liv just stopped what they were thinking about for a minute and found themselves staring at Gordon. This is Gordon. Okay, she's definitely, definitely into Gordon. Okay, this is good. She's actually got a crush of somebody she met in school and she's hanging out with them. Everything is going amazing. I'm gonna add some like nice traits to this lot so that we have nice hangouts. And oh my gosh, you can tell they're teenagers. Everyone immediately on their phones. Okay, let's go ahead and like light this and like, well, we can all hang out here together. And I don't need to worry about getting her flirty because she wants to woo woo and she's had a breathtaking encounter with Gordon. So she's really into him. She is really into him. He is an older teenager. He had the unbuttoned shirt. So in my head, I like to think that as a teen, he's like, thinks he's a bit of a bad boy. But we know when he gets older, he's going to be like this ultimate neighbor 
neighborhood paragon. But let's see if we've got, oh my gosh, he's flirty too. Does he find me attractive as well? Why do I get so invested when my Sims are like into somebody? I'm like, oh my gosh, they have to like you as well. And then we've also got Erwin. If you guys from, oh, he looks so sad. Oh no, don't do this to me. Erwin, who we met when we were a child, goes to a different high school. We go to the same high school as Gordon, but we don't go to the same high school as Erwin. But we did flirt with him online. So now he's looking really sad. And oh gosh, he just changed into his gym stuff and then off he went. Dude, where are you going? You just try. <laughs> are you like trying to flex? I don't know. I'm gonna see what she thinks of him. Okay, she does find Irvin very attractive as well. But he's not flirty. He flirts online, but not in real life. And Gordon, she finds extremely attractive. Okay, two very, very different boyines here. And Gordon's really flirty, by the way. He's very flirty as well. I can tell, like, from the way he's talking. Oh, gosh. I don't know. I feel like Irvin is, like... Bad boy, cheeky choice, like fast whirlwind romance, rushing into getting married. Whereas Erwin is like sweet, sort of more stable boy. -in. But I don't think she wants sweet and stable. Like we did sweet and stable with Briar. Like we've been there, we've done that. She's seen that between her parents. She's seen that her dad is like still to this day completely obsessed with her mom. Like just thinks the world of her. Whereas Briar's interests lie elsewhere. They lie at her tech company, which she founded. And also at the bar, weirdly enough as well. Oh, she already has the option to kiss his hands. I'm kind of thinking if I'm supposed to rush into a romance, I think it makes more sense to rush into a, like a high school marriage kind of situation. Well, straight out high school marriage with Gordon. It just kind of makes more sense, especially since he's nine out of 10 on his teenhood. So he'll be turning into a young adult in two days time. So I kind of feel like maybe she wants to rush into a relationship because she's scared about him growing up and moving on, you know? And all the other teenagers are just sat on their phones. Not even talking amongst each other. Not even like chatting with us, hanging out around the fire. Literally all just on their phones too. And look at these two. I'm kind of like, you know, because she's younger than him, I'm going to get her to like act tough as if to say like, look, I'm so grown up. I'm like so rebellious. My parents are so annoying. They're always telling me they want me to, be to get A's in school, but I actually don't care about school whatsoever. I just want to like go away and get on with my own life. Whereas she don't know, he's actually like, I would like to set up a neighborhood community support scheme. And he's good. We've learned that he's good. In her head, she's a bad, he's a bad boy, but he's actually not. So maybe that's why like, you know, she rushes into this and then realizes he's not what she thought and maybe that's why there's an affair and then she realized oh my gosh invite to stay the night why do you have that as a teenager what the hell but yeah then afterwards realizes how much of a fool she was because she has an amazing man that she's attracted to and she almost threw it all away because it wasn't as exciting as she expected you know okay he says he likes casual outfits so he's like he's really not this guy that she thinks he is i think it's so funny she's fully got in her head that he's like this bad boy and she, he's just not he's just not a bad boy at all oh and i got some pictures with him i think she's oh my gosh <laughs> i think she just mastered the photography school so we've got one part of our not so very all done already which is pretty cool she's got him completely wrong in her head this is so funny oh to be young and foolish and oh my gosh they started cozying up at the bonfire and everybody else just left Oh, I'm so, so sorry, Erwin. I really liked you, but this fits the storyline better, right? It makes more sense. And she's super attracted to him. So we've met who could be our rush high school marriage that ends up, you know, not quite working out the way that we expect it to go. But I love this. We've met them. I'm very happy. Let me know what you guys think about Gordon. I'm gonna continue the rush theme of their whole relationship. Stop right there, Gordon. Oh, we're doing a fire dance first. Okay. Oh, you just hit yourself in the head. Nice. Good job. Oh my gosh. Now you're on fire. Great, great, great. Well done. I want to continue this rush theme that they have and let them have... What a beautiful place for your first kiss, though. Look at that with the sun setting. You definitely just kissed his neck and he just kissed your forehead. But still, we're going to go for a little first kiss. He's not going to be a teenager for much longer, though, I'm afraid. He ages up very soon, which is going to be a catalyst for us going rush, 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 rush into marriage. <laughs> so, oh, she wants to woo-woo. I don't think you guys can woo-woo here anywhere. Anyway, there is a woo-woo bush, but luckily 
their romance isn't high enough, but they could potentially sneak over here and she's gonna steal some of Alicia's poetry for this. Maybe they do do a secret woo woo because we do know she's going through a rebellious phase, although she has just lost that. But she was rebellious and mean. So let me know if you guys would like to see that in the next episode. And yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this one. I will see you guys soon. Bye.